Oh my god, I broke a nail. What the f bro? Hey Aria Avengers, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you guys are new. So it's been literally two days since I posted. Has it been two days? No, it's been like a day and a half since I posted um, Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. Thank you so much for the reception on that video. It has a little over 10,000 views. Like that's unheard of for me. Like I'm, I'm a little bit shook at you guys. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I chalk it up more to the fact that it's Star Wars content and less to the fact that it's me, but I'm hoping that the more you guys get into my channel and the more you guys get to know me, you'll start to fall in love with me as much as you're in love with Star Wars. You get what I'm saying? Anyways, um, so when I had finished up the original trilogy, I ended up doing an Unpopular Opinions video. I figured now that we're done with the prequels, it would make sense to follow up with an Unpopular Opinions video of episodes one through three. Now, um, y'all better mind your knickers when you get to my comment section, because at the end of the day, these are just my opinions. That's my opinion! Yeah, these are my unpopular opinions for the Star Wars prequels. I'm not gonna make this intro too long. We're just gonna get straight into it, all right? Number one, the pacing of these movies, with the exception of Revenge of the Sith, is absolutely horrendous. I said it at the end of Revenge of the Sith that I felt like it was so well paced because every movie up until then, and this also goes for episodes four through six, there's always some prolonged scene that's just unnecessary. For Phantom Menace, I would say the pod racing scene dragged a little long. Now y'all leave me alone, leave me alone. I know some of you guys uh, were little boys when Phantom Menace came out, y'all love the pod racing scene, but I'm gonna need you to fall back because let's be real, the shit lasted way too long. And I kind of feel like that for almost every fight scene, to be honest. The pacing in regards to stuff like that was just a little wonky. Revenge of the Sith did so well because it kept you engaged in every aspect of the film. There wasn't one scene that I was watching that felt like it dragged more than another scene. And when it cut from one scene to the next, I was equally invested in every storyline that was going on. Whereas I did not feel that way whatsoever in Phantom Menace or in Attack of the Clones. Some of this kind of brings me into my second unpopular opinion, which is that the fight scenes and the chase scenes are just too long, with the exception of the lightsaber fight scenes. Any fight scene in the prequels that included lightsabers was fucking amazing. Oh, they had a choreographer on set because the shit slapped, bro. It was beautiful. It was like theater. It was like dancing. I don't know, something about the lights of them, like of the lightsabers, that sounds so stupid. Something about it just makes the fighting so much more, so much more impactful and like actually beautiful to look at. However, other fight scenes, like there's that fight scene and I think it's Attack of the Clones with Jar Jar Binks and like his people and they're like fighting. I, I, I could give a shit, I don't care. I, I don't know, that's just me personally. Again, just my opinions. Unpopular opinion number three. The chemistry between Padme and Anakin. This is specifically for Attack of the Clones because there was really no chemistry between them in, I would say, episode one. In Attack of the Clones, it was just... I don't like sand. I love seeing romance take place on screen, but it made my ass itch, dog. And it looked like it made her ass itch too. Did your ass itch, sis? But that's just me. I know a lot of you mentioned that George Lucas is not the best director. And unfortunately, even though Hayden Christensen and Natalie Portman are good actors, they were just directed poorly by George Lucas. And that's why their scenes kind of just seemed a little awkward. Their scenes fell flat to me. But I will say, Revenge Revenge of the Sith, I don't know who the fuck was directing, but their acting was phenomenal. I believed every little bit of the love they had for each other and Revenge of the Sith just completely redeemed their love story and their passion and chemistry and everything. Like it was so much more believable. Kudos to whoever directed episode three and I'm gonna lose my shit if I look it up and it's George Lucas cause wow, the 180, my guy. Unpopular opinion number four, 
I feel as though the relationship between Obi-Wan and Anakin was not developed as well as it could have been. Now, I do understand that the Clone Wars also adds a lot of context and a lot of character development for Anakin and Obi-Wan, but my thing is the Clone Wars series came out after the fact, so you don't get that context. Remember, for those that are like recently initiated to the RA Avengers uh, Ensemble or Ensemble, whatever the fuck. For those of you that are new here, I am watching these movies in order of theatrical release and I'm not watching anything really in between. The only thing that I really stepped out of order to watch was uh, the Clone Wars series. And that was only because I was told that it takes place between episode two and episode three. However, if you're someone who watched these movies originally as they came out, the Clone Wars series wasn't a thing when you saw episode three. So you didn't have that added context. And that's where I'm coming from with this opinion. None of that character development is there. You just see an Anakin that seems quite resentful of Obi-Wan in Attack of the Clones. I'm really ahead of him. I'm ready for the trials. But he feels that I'm too unpredictable. That must be frustrating. It's worse. He's overly critical. He never listens. He, he doesn't understand. And then you go to episode three where he seems so much wiser. He seems so much more knowledgeable. He seems like his emotions are unchecked. And most importantly, his relationship with Obi-Wan seems to be one of great respect and admiration. I mean, I hate to say I would have loved to known how we got there when I know the Clone Wars series is a thing. But again, I'm looking at it as if I was watching it originally as it came out. If you're just watching the films, none of that context is there. And I feel like they should have done a better job of showing some type of respect or admiration or brotherhood foundation from Attack of the Clones moving forward. I really wasn't surprised based off of what I'd seen of their relationship in that film that Anakin kills Obi-Wan. In that film, it looks like he flat out hates him already. But then when you get to Revenge of the Sith, he has so much respect for him and Obi-Wan has so much trust for Anakin as well. I guess it's one of those things where all their growth and development happens off screen, which is fine, I guess, because it is impactful when you're watching Revenge of the Sith and you see the amount of growth. It's kind of the same complaint I had going from A New Hope to Return of the Jedi, where it seems like out of nowhere, Luke is just completely fucking OP. How did we get here? Like we barely saw him train, we barely saw him do anything. Well, I feel the same way kind of with the relationship with Anakin and Obi. Like they look like they're at odds with each other and wanna like slit each other's throats already in Attack of the Clones. And then you get to Revenge of the Sith and they're like, hey. But it didn't make the impact of Revenge of the Sith and the betrayal of Anakin, it didn't make it any less impactful, so I guess there's that. Unpopular opinion number five. I'm not really sure if this is an unpopular opinion or not. I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it. Out of episodes one through six, Revenge of the Sith is by far the best Star Wars film. Argue with the wall. There's the wall right there. Talk to it, don't talk to me. Because it is so fucking good. I mean, I already went through like the list of all the things I thought were great about it if you saw my Revenge of the Sith reaction. If you haven't, let me take you down the list. The pacing, absolutely phenomenal. The acting, top tier. The visuals, beautiful. The fighting, phenomenal. Everything was just mwah, chef's kiss. And I don't care. I know a lot of people say Return of the Jedi or The Empire Strikes Back are the best ones to them. The Empire Strikes Back is what really got me to say, okay, I'm gonna finish these movies because this is a good movie. Return of the Jedi, got me in the heart, like it got me in the feels. Don't worry guys, I'm giving them their flowers. However, I just feel that because Revenge of the Sith took place and was filmed during the time it was, there are so many more things that make it so much more elevated than The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. The visual effects, the CGI, the fighting, the choreography for the fighting was absolutely top tier. I feel like the stories amongst all three of those movies are on the same level. However, it's just those added bonuses. The fact that Revenge of the Sith was made during the time it did and they had the technology that they did that to me puts it over the top of The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. But 
I do feel like a lot of your guys' opinions on which movies are your favorite are definitely rooted in nostalgia. And it's just so funny because I see your guys' comments of people who went to go see Star Wars back in 1977 when it came out. And then I see the comments of the people that went to go see um, the prequels, go see Phantom Menace in the 90s when it came out. And it's just funny because y'all always say that the ones you went to go see in theaters are your favorite. So I definitely feel like there's a lot of nostalgia that kind of plays into which ones are your favorite. But since there's not really any nostalgia for me, objectively speaking, Revenge of the Sith is my favorite one. But there you have it, guys. I just wanted to give you a nice quick video kind of to sum up my thoughts and my critiques or opinions or whatever on the prequels. So yeah, let me know if you guys agree with me or disagree with me. Thank you so much for all the love and support you guys have been showing to my channel. I hope to bring you guys so many more movie reactions and commentaries and whatever you guys want to see, not just around Star Wars, but around plenty of other IP and hopefully you guys fuck with the vibes hopefully you guys fuck with me and you'll come back to assemble with me for future videos if you liked this video be sure to like it comment subscribe let me know what you guys think again i'm so grateful to have you all here thanks for coming back Ari avengers disassemble